Hey everyone, check this out. These are 7.62 by 39 HEI rounds. HEI stands for High Explosive Incendiary. You'll notice that some of these have black tips and others have yellow over black tips. After breaking down a few of these and comparing the components, I'm convinced these are the same projectile, they just have different markings. These bullets have an explosive charge inside that is detonated by an internal firing pin upon impact. This paper came with the ammunition. You can see at the bottom that it warns against dropping them on a hard surface to prevent detonation. It reads as follows. This is an explosive incendiary round made up of a steel jacket enclosing a firing pin, tetral explosive capsule, and incendiary mixture in the bullet tip. Upon impact, the firing pin strikes the explosive capsule whereon the explosion scatters the incendiary mixture. This cutaway photo shows the internal composition of the bullet. When it's shaken, you can actually hear the firing pin rattling around inside like this. I have a variety of targets set up to show you, so enough talking, let's get shooting. <laughs> Here's the target I've got set up for this. This is a phone book with a steel plate in the middle of it. This is just a plank of wood and it's in front of a one inch thick plate. This is where I shot a regular round of lead core ammo. This was the HEI. First we can see that the lead core ammo went through the plate. The HEI did not. In fact, it doesn't even really seem to dent the plate. Now on the back side of the phone book, up here is where our regular round came through. This is where the explosive round came through. You can see it's a little bit burned up and severely damaged. Now, second, our wooden, our piece of wood here. Our lead core went through here, smashed against the edge of our one inch plate, made a dent. Here's our explosive round came through, hit the one inch plate, and then on the back of the board, there's more pieces here, some of the jacket. So obviously these bullets are not made for penetrating. I believe that sometimes these are called spotting bullets. They're intended to make a puff of smoke so that you can see where you're hitting from a longer distance. They do have an explosive component in them which looks like it's capable of providing a small amount of destruction. I purposely missed the toy hitting to the lower right of it. I wanted to see if the explosive charge of the bullet would destroy the toy, which it clearly did. This is a can of engine starter fluid. It's very flammable. As you can see, the bullet goes through the can. At first, it doesn't appear that it detonated, but if we reverse the video, let's go back a little bit here and we'll pause it on this frame. You can clearly see that there was a fireball, but I would guess that the explosion somehow put out the flames before the rest of the fluid could burn. If you have any thoughts on this, I encourage you to leave a comment below. I don't know where SpongeBob disappeared to. Oh, there he is. I guess I hit his hand. I had him sitting right there. It looks like my bullet hit right here. I think that's the base of it. So SpongeBob lives another day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you.